Airflex is playing serious, man. He's going to top tier. It's interesting. This is a loser semi, so we're a fair bit into this bracket. Yep, this is this will be a best of five set as well as the semi, so well, let's see. But Airflex looking like he's got a good start so far. Got the gyro sap, trap on the ledge. Yeah, it's the gyro out there. And the side B, wow, at very, very early, below 50%. No problem for Vlog. Man, that move should be illegal right now. I don't know. Why is that still a thing? Anyways, uh, that's really my big mouth. There we go. Oh, he's still going in on him right now. That Care Flex is going crazy, man. Yeah, it's a commitment if you don't manage to connect with it, but if you do, it's early danger. Damn, I think he's got Cyrus shook a little bit. He just, like, danced on his shield, and then Cyrus did, like, absolutely nothing afterwards. Yeah, dude. he had enough time to up tilt and then hit him with the up air anyway afterwards. Now we see him miss the side beat and beat a forward smash punish. As a result, Gyro doesn't make it back. Floats above it and wanted the up smash to finish it off. But the down smash instead from Kiraflax looking very, very solid. Oh man, the Forward smash, trap. wow. Three stocks to one. This is, a, this is a very nice start for Kiraflax already. Oh, gonna fall right out of double edge chance. Okay, does he have enough gas? Yes, he will. Yeah. Plenty, actually. Wow, Rob, Rob has a... Really nice mileage on that gas tank, man. Tank is never on empty, that's for sure. Yeah. Must be a, must be a hybrid or something. He, he does run out of batteries, too, so. He's a little bit of electrical energy there, too. Gets him with that trailing hitbox in there. And the side B as well. We could be seeing a three stock here in game one. Yeah, it was. It would look like it. No, on our way the up air. That would kill. He just managed to get it off the platform instead of off the stage, but. That wasn't the like, Kira Flax not sealing this out. Oh, Misses yeah. with the upbeat, and that could have been it. Yeah, I mean, up throw. Down throw. It is it. That is. No, it's not. Oh, never mind. Okay. The ice is falling. Yeah, the game, the game is. All right. That's fine. I didn't want to be right anyway here. Thanks. Wow, this is a. Okay, there we go. Up throw. Pile drives his head into the ground. Yeah, um, that was a. Extremely dominant game for Terraflex. Dang. He gave Cassaro like no reason to breathe at all. He two strides, just shaking his head at that. <laughs> he knows that could have gone better. You know. No, he's probably thinking to himself, why is Rob a character? You know? This, you know all these characters. He was and such a bad Nintendo peripheral, too. Like, he's so slow and, like, in all the games that he can get to play with. So clunky. Yeah. You know. He runs on, like,. He runs on like four AA batteries. His, no, six. Six AA batteries. His Brawl iteration was laughable, and the Smash iteration, Smash 4 iteration was not much better, but Rob is a power playing high tier here at MSM. Yeah, he's a very good character now. So many years of being ridiculed by Nintendo, and then all of a sudden he made a top tier. Anyways, here we go. Battlefield. Oh, and we're switching to Chrom too. I mean, you couldn't do much with, with taking the stocks as Roy, so I can definitely see, like like we saw before, you couldn't get the stocks off of DD with uh, Roy instead. So uh, switching to Chrom, at least for a game, to see how it works out. Yeah, and at the very least, Cyro wasn't losing his stocks to Edgeguard. It wasn't these off-stage hits that were the problem. He was at 160, he just couldn't manage to seal anything out before Kiraflax got three stocks of his own. Yep. Double edge dance. Waits out the side view as well, and he's going to get the weak throw as well. Okay, he's still there to defend himself. No edge guards coming happen today. Jab into back air, not quite. Wow. <laughs> I don't think he was expecting him to interact with the ledge that way. All right, down throw. Down throw, down throw into up tilt. Okay, he tried to do the same thing, like jump, drop down, jump fair, but it didn't quite work out that time. Look at his movement on the platform, by the way. Sliding back and forth. I'm not quite sure what the, out, what the objective with that up B was, but we'll pick Cyro and Brand about it later. Rolls inwards. Uh, good job avoiding both Rob and the Gyro. Okay. Yeah, definitely doing much better this time around. Up. Oh, I thought he was going off. Okay, that will work too, though. So. Yeah, Rob generally won't up throw if he's not below the platforms, and even so, battlefields, you know. If we're on a stage with perhaps slightly smaller blast zones, and a smaller top blast zone in particular, you might go for it, but in the absence of those platforms, to just send yourself to no chance will kill from anything but the down throw there. Gonna go for Les Trump, gave up his control for a little bit. Oh, yeah, back, back here. here. Yep. 
any Krom player, any Rob player, will be searching for that. They're on a lifelong quest for those. Reverses up special, so well done from Syro. Try to snap out of jump with that immediate gyro throw. Okay. Even though it doesn't connect, it's just gonna put so much pressure. Speaking of pressure, that side B. Yeah, definitely like a strong tool. We're throwing out all of these Latin special options today. Yeah. But it's generally safe as long as it's on shield, so he's, he's definitely safe uh, in that scenario. Okay, but here we go. Up air strings. Oh, nothing there. Another opportunity. Doesn't get the tech on the platform. Wow, that was nice. Alrighty, so Cyro answering immediately back to the Three stock, two and two stock. Neither of those games looked particularly close, and of course they went in opposite directions. So perhaps with a more neutral stage, we might see a closer game between the two of them. Yeah. So is this the time where Dark Fifth comes out? Is this gonna see he's scrolling over your Drossel's altar for a moment. Oh yeah, that is legal today. It is legal today. It's going to be legal at all two GG events for the foreseeable future as well. So yeah. just a bit of a testing ground today. There's that from. Goes for Dark Pit. Of course, a character that got quite a bit of love in 4.0.0. That Nair probably got hit with the most, you know, amount of Sakurai infection. Uh, did you see Kira? Did you see Kira Flex's body like gyrate, like as he got so pumped up? That cool. That's just so Cal thing. We see it with like Con Con and Elegant. All these players who will get themselves physically pumped up. And we saw with Master Mario a couple of seconds ago as well. Yeah. And what do all those people have in common? They're all really buff. <laughs> they got muscles, man. <laughs> they have to show it off. Might as well show it off. Oh, no. He's going to move way too far back. And Kira Flax gets around it as well with the invincibility. Dark gets up B. Yeah. This time, now that the Krom is out, it's like, okay, now I'm going to try and go for these edge guards. It's working out for him already. Can he get a cross the stage carry? Yes, he will. Doesn't quite get him all the way off the stage, though. Look at how well he's utilizing these platform balls. Ooh, just ducking right underneath that fair range, but there we go. Catching him standing. A little What's bit it? extra damage. Looks like he wants a down tilt into this tag, and he gets it right there. Finds the forward smash as the reward for that follow up. Oh, that was gross, man. I know it's standard prom stuff, down tilt, tech chasing, sports match, but it's still gross every time I look at it. It just hits so hard. It's disgusting. Get that off my screen. Yeah. Someone switch off prom with uh, the three houses character instead. Meanwhile, Pure Flax not looking too phased by already. Looking to put that hurt on the second side of the lake where he picked up and left off. But no, it's going to be Syro who waits out the side special from Pure Flax. Yep. Alrighty, here we go. Another opportunity. Oh, man. Every single time Cyro's like, okay, right, I gotta get back to the center screen no matter what. So he just hits them away every single time. He's utilizing some of the arrows in neutral, which is interesting against this sort of character. And the boxes come out as fast as Prom. So obviously, a good tool when you have Prom off stage, you can get him to just waste some of that air dodge and jump. Get him into an unrecoverable situation, but in neutral? That's something you don't see too often. Wow, wake up side B. Is that enough to it? Oh, he kind of pushed him away afterwards. He tried to get that cheese. Not quite so. Here's Black. Facing backwards. Probably searching for one option. The dash attack, meanwhile. Fakes going for the bear and just keeps the grounded option in mind. Enough to close it out. Yeah. I mean, despite that super early edge guard, Tyron's got this all the way back. So, careful, he's got to be careful, but here we go. The kill's not coming yet. And now he's got some of that damage going in. So here we go. uses another two arrows. The first one connects, the second one doesn't, but he gets the jab and the tilt. The chair as well across the platform. Like, okay, I don't want Croc chasing me anymore. But that's right a re-grab. He could be in trouble. Syro was a bit quicker on that. He's just gonna wave dash through the flat. Oh, this ain't melee. Yeah. What are we looking at? <laughs> Definitely playing on the melee there. But let's see here. Arth is looking quite a bit different. Yeah. Maybe on there as well. Just catches and napping on the platform. Yeah, here Flex knows that it's not. I do like that Syro waited for Girl Flex to actually land instead of trying to take the bait while he was double jumping in the air. So he didn't quite lose his stock that way, but eventually he's still going to lose his stock to a falling up there. Two rolls in a row from Gear Flex. Uh, 
going for newly safe bear on Sango Shield. Alrighty, how does he close out the stock though? Either of these two can really close it out in any given scenario. They just need one good uh, situation to really do it. You can see they're spacing each other out with their fair and air. Of course, if you can reverse these positions, the electro shock will finish it off. There, meanwhile. Yeah, he's looking for a right position. These characters are so fast that they can go around each other really quickly, and all of a sudden they lost that control that they need. Crom more especially because he's so uh, so much faster than Pit, for example, on the ground. Down tilt, back into the ledge. I'm looking for a down tilt, but of course, man, he's terrified of this really early stock right now. Terrified. Of course, Dark Pit does have invincibility on his up special, so he might be able to get around part of it, but. He's wasted too early. And Didi, excuse me, Cyro's timing is as good as it is. We get the ledge shot from that there. Training paid off. Alrighty, Careflex looking a little frustrated. Let's see if he can try and clean that back up. I mean, he did have a really good start, and then just in general, he was just consistent with his play and brought it back around. So. Cyro just looked at him as if to say, you know, you may have been able to take sets off of non-ranked opponents, but this is the PR you're facing. Yeah. So let's see. I mean, he made it this far, so. Well, Pure flex. Look at how intense he's looking. Yeah. <laughs> he, is, he is focused. He like, he like, okay, so the last, before the, the last set, he went Super Saiyan 1, not the Super Saiyan 3. He's like, skip Super Saiyan 2 all together. Yeah, I wish we could see, you know, the contrast between these two. Oh, no. Not the beat, you know, excellent directional A badge. Look at the contrast between how these two players. Hero Black is, you know, he's focused, he's leaning inward. Sauron might as well just be sitting at home on a couch watching TV. He looks so relaxed. Already. Yeah, he's starting off with the damage in defense again, uh, like before, but every single time, like, I think the style is a lot better at closing out the stocks. Oh, he did a forward smash instead of up smash, dude. He got that the drag dead. down with the beginning hits of an air, but doesn't follow up, and now Syro has the opportunity to capitalize. Another arrow in neutral. Ooh, that was nice. Run back on the platform, B reverse into the neutral beat. Oh, the back oh, row. Oh, gets him with the arrow as well. Even one might be enough to do it. No! That's the jump. Not, not able to avoid the death effect. Sends an arrow into high heavens. Just to say, Palutena, are you watching that one? Alrighty, here we go though. Some more nares. Oh, I like that. The little dash back. That four kind of elicited a reaction out of Cyro. Not quite though. Cyrus just jumping into the game. Sure, but he's going to come to him. And it looks like Careful has kind of woke up a little bit. Definitely not losing the stock anytime soon, it looks like, especially with the way Tyler kind of looks for him. He's been making it very obvious what he's searching for. So Careful is sure he's right tech roll inwards on the right option. Here, no, not quite. Not the right position for it, actually. I think this is a very bad percentage spot for Tom um, is. Dark Pit, of course, the tools, if you don't get perhaps like a forward smash or a one good shot in the leg, if you don't avoid those F tilts, you know, might not be able to seal it and gets rid of the rage as well, which is certainly a benefactor for Cyro. <laughs> Constantly throwing out there. Okay. Oh, yeah, he tried to use the fair to try and get him off, but not quite. Try to do it again. Alrighty. Yeah, Pit kind of suffers with the leg sometimes. He has multiple jumps, but his air speed is the best, so... He wanted another leg trump, but instead he's going to get two frames. Jab into fair, no. Hey, that's fine. He threw out the fair, but faded back so he can get a forward tilt instead. But still, he's had so much damage uh, being put on the Kiriflex on the ledge. But there we go, finally comes back in. Excellently spaced ground option. From Kiriflex, you can see Cyro throw out his options first and most. Not oh. many times you get to outspace a sword. That's one of them. Kiriflex, meanwhile, one stock away from evening up the game count. Yeah, very nice arrow that actually sniped him out of his position and he couldn't drift back from that. So, very good stuff from Kiriflex. Here we go. One more stock to take it into game five. They kind of see Nair into fair so often, but Nair, the dash attack this time, gets some of the arrow. It goes deep for the Nair as well. That's going to be it.
That's exactly what he was looking for in game, uh, game three, but he just didn't quite like find on the last it. Man but this time, Kira Flex able to find that edge guard very early in the stock. And he's going to close it out, bring it to game five. Kira Flex, let's see if he can make it into a top two spot here. This is, this is as relaxed as I've seen Kira Flex all set, and he still looks like he wants to kill me. Yeah. This is... He's focusing, man. Look at how badly he wants it. Going to Battlefield for Game 5. Puts hey, the man. phones back on. You know what the Kira stands for? Kira Flex. Death. Or uh, God. I don't know. What, what, does Kira, what does Kira mean in Death Love again? It means like death or something, right? Oh my God. I know that's where it comes from. I just don't know the translation. Yeah. Okay, hold on. I'll, I'll just do it real quick. Sorry, guys. I'm not as much of a weave as I claim. Three, two, one. Uh, so the wings, meanwhile, game five just throws out two arrows to start it off. Oh, it means, oh, it means like 90 and like glitter. Okay, anyways, here we go. So it's a bit of like a, a start to a war. You know, you see like some people sound out trumpets or fire opening shots. For Cure Flax, he just throws out a couple of arrows. Yeah, that's his tradition. All right, against the Roy. Let's see how this goes. Interesting. Does make the switch back to Roy after the saw the calm. That just should not get the optimal results on stage. Yeah. Okay. Got the control. Gets him out of that double edge dance. Oh, Spot yes. dodge from both sides. But Secure Flex comes out on top of the four times on top of the platform. Only 25% and already a stop taken. Yeah, that was actually really good positioning. I think Cyro was trying to dash in or something, and then he just got caught before he could get the button. He drag down there as well. The back throw gets him with the Nair. Doesn't find the fair follow up. And now Cyro thinking his lucky stars. It's not 3 to 1. Yeah, I thought he actually sniped out the jump. I was really, really impressed, but not quite yet. But Careflex showing that he's on the aggression right now. Not one of them. He's pulling out all the stops here today. He's been too far spot. ahead. The battle isn't one good DI from Kira Black. Spock Dodge is away from the air. You could just shield that. Or you couldn't. Or you could be Syro. Jab. No, no, no. That's not going to kill at that part of the stage. But good F tilt. Comes around and parries that arrow this time. Alright, this time. Okay, yeah, you know that. Yeah. Yeah. Every single time, it looks like Careflex just has a really difficult time playing at the ledge when he's trying to get off of it. I mean, that's more to blame for Pit because of his like lack of like range in certain areas. Like the, the space that you want to cover when you're stuck at the ledge, Pit can't do that because he doesn't have the hitboxes for it. Yeah, Cyro, I like the decision to just delay the hits between the double edge dance. You could see Careflex trying to SDI out of it the first time, but Cyro knows if he's just going to fall down and get it. That's when those hits are going to come out. Good drop down, aerial through the platform. Very good this time in down tilt. To the air. Ooh, the electro shock arm. Okay, that does it. it Looks like Cyro was definitely not ready for that. Cyro on tournament stock now, going through the platform. If there's anything he has left in the tank, now is the time to throw it out. Doing great spacing, dash back. You see, he's trying to stay right outside the range where Cyro wants to be. Oh, trying to go for the up smash. That thing not quite hit in front of him because that move sucks sometimes. Inbox has two of the jumps there. Air dodges back. Those parry, dude. Cyro is so good at controlling the ledge, but everything else, man, like in the neutral, it looks like Kiraflex has been able to get uh, more conversions off of instead. Certain times. Rolls out of danger. Spot dodges back into it. Rolls inwards as well. Unafraid of the potential read. The jab into the back there. Just enough. Oh, man, we're here. Last stock for both players here. The winner will have the chance to fight DD. I think that'll be a rematch for Cyro. I think that'll be the first time for Kiraflex. But let's see here, folks. 33% and ticking for Cyro. Careflex controlling the stage so well with that neutral air. Covers so much space. All oh, the rapid jabs come in. Okay, put them off stage one more time. That's always going to be the spot dodge for Cyro. And now, even with no damage taken, someone's clearly in advantage here. Yeah, man, he wants to get that edge guard. He has the opportunity. Not quite going to find it, but still, we're back in neutral now. Here's where Cyro can begin to mount a comeback. 40% gone, but no. Gets thrown back off the stage by the air. It's out, jab. It's 
there. Oh, the back air, not quite enough. Oh, the parry! Oh, man. Every single time Kiraflex comes back in, fighting once more. The down throw. There's just alarm bells going off the side. He said, don't approach, but he wants to. And that's the only way he can problematically finish this off. Four throw, double jump, three grab. He actually makes it back, though. Oh, I should say, he the double edge dance. That was so scary, dude. Good there, and hits the foot school on stage. I'm not quite sure. Oh, gets the. Electroshock finishes it off. And what a pop off from Kira Flax. Right. So, so, so hard fought. Kira Flax is pumped, man. Moving on to losers' finals. Look at that. Just a ball of energy, and we're going to have to see if any of that energy is left.